All right, so we got almost fully charged today. It's fairly cloudy actually today, sunny cloud. Uh, everything's working great. Look at the other side here. Everything's working good. Uh, what are we making this in this charge controller here? Yeah, almost full. Doing pretty good. All these little BMSs are still doing good. Everything's working. Haven't had any issues. But the video today is about this box right here. Got a new inverter in the mail. And we're going to see what it is. That uh, kind of says right here, as you guys can see. But uh, this is reliable new generation of 3000 watt inverters. I have not played with any of these yet. So I got them to send me one. No, I did not get this for free. I did have to pay for it. Well, it smells like that new inverter smell. Kind of interested to see what's inside. See if it's all the same as normal. Kind of looks the same. Looks the same on the front. MOSFET to these. These are output is Oh boy, come on, I'm going to 60 and 60 FDI, or def, FD1, I mean. And I can't see the outputs very easily. Looks like the same design as before. This is going to be for um, a house trailer. It's quite a nice little inverter. Yeah. Just want to make sure there's nothing floating around in there. Interesting. I do see some some stuff that's different. Like there's this blue box in there that never was there before. Hmm. Very interesting. Maybe I'll open this thing up. Take a look at it. Anyways, thanks for watching. All right, guys. I'm super excited here. We got the 3,000 watt reliable. 12 volt inverter. It's my first 12 volt inverter from these guys. And this is a custom voltage inverter, like all inverters I get from them. Um, that's one thing really nice. You can custom customize the voltage. And this one is customized to run from 11 volts to 17 volts. Because I am using a 4S lithium ion battery bank here, which is right here. And these batteries are from batteryhookup.com. I bought these from there. These are actually extremely good deal. These are $49 each. They are, I believe they were 120 amp hours. So that's a 120 amp hour cell at 3.7 volts. All together, full charge is 16.8 volts. And they discharged down to about 12 volts. I went down to uh, a little under, so a little under uh, three volts per cell on this. Um, there's going to be a BMS with a battery man or a Bluetooth and all that good stuff. It's really nice because you put a little bit of through rod in here. I'm going to build the system for them. These all clamp together really nicely. It's just these are really nice batteries, man. I, I want to buy some more, but when I was going to buy some more, they're out of stock, but they are in stock again. And if you guys uh, go through the link in my description. It helps me out a little bit. I think I, I get a little bit uh, kickback from them if you buy through my link. Um, and yeah, let's hook these things up and see how they work. I'm not going to be doing a huge test on them right now because all I have to come over are these little baby leads. But uh, we're going to be doing a capacity test on these. And uh, yeah, it's crazy that this is this is more than... Uh, 12 volt battery. This is because this goes up to 12 or 16.8 volts full charge uh, at 120 volts. So that's equal to maybe 140 amp hour 12 volt battery, something like that, for $200. That is so cheap. So this plus the BMS that I bought, it's $130 BMS. I think it's a 200 amp BMS. I think I got. I can't remember. It's coming in the mail. It's got Bluetooth compatibility uh, to your phone. You can see everything on your phone. It's really nice. So let's uh, hook this thing up. One more thing I'd like to highlight is these batteries, they're not soldered together. So these are two separate 60 amp hour um, 
cells. So you literally, if you wanted a 12 volt system, you only have to buy two of these. Two of these will make a 16.8 volt battery. So you really only need to buy two and then you have enough to run, say, an inverter like this that's custom voltage. But I, I went and got four just because I wanted the, the 120 amp hours at 16 volts approximately. And uh, yeah, so that's what the tabs look like. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to uh, rip these together myself and then uh, run my cables off them or something like that anyways. Anyways, here we go. All right, so I just finished taking off all the tape off, and here's the last cell here. I just want to show this. They even mark you positive on which side, so you know which way to put them before you even testing them. These are modular, which is super nice. Like I'll show you here right now. You click on. There, clicks on there. Clicks on there. Like even without a, a rod, you can pick it up by its own weight. It's pretty neat. Anyways, let's get hooking this up. All right, so we got a slightly better situation hooked up. So all I did was take some nuts and bolts and pinch them. This I literally just pinched the corner. We're not gonna be running that much current for very long. So here we go. Let's try this again. Those little little wires were useless. So all right, we're gonna start with the Dremel. Easy. This is on the lowest setting. Here's the battery. Oh, yep. Turn this back on. There we go, 12.3 volts. Let's see if the battery even goes down at all. <laughs> Pretty much doesn't even move. Rock solid. Very good battery. Oh, one more thing. These batteries, I believe, have never been cycled. Um, these are new batteries. They're, they've been sitting for a little bit, not very long, and that's why you get the ridiculously good deal. These brand new would be very expensive. Okay, so now we're going to ramp this up to full. Starting. Let's look at the batteries. Now remember, my connections are still not that great. All right, so to handle this, no problem. Let's try something a little heavier duty, like this Mastercraft Impact. Here we go. Wow, that worked really good. It has a lot of kick to it, just like it plugged into the wall. Let's go look over here. This thing's fairly powerful. What is this? 7.5 amps. So oh yeah, it's not all that. That uh, uh, doesn't take that much power. But we're gonna turn this on and then turn this on. So that has no problem. Man, it seems loud. That's all I want to run off this thing for now, just because of the little bit of a dodgy setup I got going here, hooked up wise. This I literally have this just sitting here, so I could pull it off if I need to. I don't have an inline fuse. The only fuses are in the inverter, which this inverter does have fuses, which is good. This is a very powerful battery. It's extremely small. You can see it in comparison to my hands. 120 amp hours for this size is insane. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, there'll be a link in description for this battery for from Battery Hookup. And then there'll be a link in description uh, for this for from Reliable Electric as well. Thanks for watching. All right. So one more thing I forgot to tell you guys. This is going in a custom RV that my friend is making. And it's built completely from scratch. Um... Uh, even the trailer that he uh, bought to put the RV on, he cut it all up. He got a new axle for it. The thing was rusted out. It was acting an old army trailer. And cut it all up so it's pretty much starting from scratch. And then he's building the whole thing. I'm going to have to go make some videos before he gets too far. 
this is going to be the AC power inside. Most likely two of these are going to be the battery on the inside. This is, uh, he's only got one right now. I'm going to be buying him another one and then he'll be paying me back for all this. I, I pay for all this stuff. I don't get this all free. Sometimes I get once in a blue moon, I'll get some one thing free, but very, very often I am paying for things. So one more test on this inverter. We have this higher 5,000 BTU air conditioner. Go on the side here. And it is currently off. And let's see if we can get the inverter. Uh, we'll get the inverter. I'm going to turn it on. Oh, you can see that the in it is plugged in. All right. Then we're going to turn it on and see how she does. No problem. Look at that. Wow, we didn't even flinch in voltage. That was awesome. So now it is running off this battery. Sitting at 13.95 volts on the battery. Here we're seeing 13.7. That's because there's a little bit of loss in the lines because I'm only using one of each cable when they provide two. And it's running just fine. Anyways, that's it for today. Can't wait to install this for him. We're putting 500, uh, 570 watts on the trailer roof. That pretty much takes up the whole roof, so it's a fairly small trailer. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.